<laughs> you know, I was uh, I was just looking through the default dissolution of marriage. Yeah. The other party was served on summons and petition for this, the case. Mm -hmm. And uh, any other documents listed uh, in the proof of service filed with the court? Yes. Um, timing and type of service? Yes. Mm -hmm. The party was served with the summons and petition by personal service in Washington State? Yes. Now, at that time, you had 90 days because of the the uh, minors in common? Yes. Mm -hmm. I responded within 89 days? Yes. You arrested me and served me at the same moment. Obviously, uh, to file for default dissolution of marriage? Yes. Exactly what did uh, the petitioner say mm -hmm. during her application? Yes. Yeah. Her motioning of the court for default dissolution of marriage. Yes. I actually calculated the number of days from the time that I was served. Yes. Now it could have been the time from the 24th of May until the day that I actually did uh, respond. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Not including this day, May 24th of 2012. Yes. Because you don't have to include the day of actual service. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, I responded on August 24th of 2012. Response to petition. Yes. Now, as we look at it, mm -hmm. it was actually the 27th, uh, because that's when you arrested me and served me on that day. Yes. And we could have used the, the 29th as the day that I got out of jail. Yes. But I was well within the 90 days allowed by law. Now, uh, this exclusive continuing jurisdiction mm -hmm, of these minors named, uh, you never had exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Has already made a custody order parenting plan for the children, and the court has authority to make uh, or, uh, or other orders for the children. Yes. At what point in a dissolution of marriage can the petitioner mm -hmm. no longer continue to make any sort of modifications yes, or changes to the parenting plan when the children yes, are 17, yeah, 16, mm -hmm, 15 years old? Now, I think, yes, not removing this is violating their rights, yes, to have you not change the custody. Ouch. Not change the parenting plan. Mm. Oh, the court can order a parenting plan, a residential schedule for the children because check all that apply. Mm -hmm. If a box applies to all of the children, you may write the children instead of listing names. Yes, you do not have exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. The petitioner does not have the exclusive continuing jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. To make any legal changes to the dissolution of marriage. Yeah, mm -hmm. when the state didn't protect their rights at 13 years old. Yes. And the state didn't protect their rights at 14 years old. Oh, and the state didn't protect their rights at 16 years old. Yes. That dissolution of marriage right now is no longer enforceable mm -hmm. for four of the minors named in it. Now. What if they want to make a change to the dissolution of marriage? Yes. They want to motion the court to change the parenting plan. <coughs> well, I don't, I, well, you know, I didn't get a copy of it. Mm. See, I informed the sheriff's department right now that my wife never served me a dissolution of marriage. Yes. It was the uh, mindset. Yes. Yes, yes of those that when they issued the dissolution of marriage in 2013, yeah, yeah, but that uh, the parenting plan, the order for support, yes, and the uh, residential time summary report, the facts and uh, conclusions of law, yes, I would say that my sons have the right to sue the court to have all the custody requirements changed. Mm. Now, maybe the sheriff's department doesn't appreciate how much their rights are being violated. Well, 
Maybe they don't want to live with their mom anymore. Did somebody ask them? Uh, the parenting plan and residential schedule. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the children. Mm -hmm. You can see that the mail was returned unclaimed. Oh, I didn't actually get notice of the court hearings. Yes, I didn't get any of the documentation that was admitted to the court. Yes, I didn't get a dissolution of marriage. Mm -hmm. And the marriage certificate was issued from the United Nations. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks to me that you are intentionally obstructing my rights. Uh, my Judge Robert! This county and this state is intentionally obstructing the rights of the minors named to make changes to the dissolution of marriage where they are no longer included is what is defined as children. Now, maybe...